All right, everyone, this is a, another FFT Arena matchup here, and this is going to be a very interesting one at that. Um, on top, we have Rex Revised Team, which is known as uh, Severe Weather Alert. And on bottom, we have uh, Reno's Team, which is known as Short Circuit. Rex has uh, Blizzard the Archer, Hailstorm the Archer, Rain the Priest, and Hurricane the Scholar. Um, Rex was fooling around with some equips and whatnot, and wanted to make a little bit more use out of this team. So they both got Ki both archers have Kaiser plate. One's a punch art unit with Sigma Magic and Revive. The other one uses Quickening and Steel Heart. And while this one may have Weapon Break, these two have head. This one has um, Head Break and Armor Break. Um, HP restores so that way it can raise his health all the way back up and speed save so that way by the time his speed is filled should he get hit he can um uh, get his turn quicker that's pretty much all there is to say um we have um a priest here who now has like nether ice and ice 2 as well as I believe bolt 2 and water 2 I think got rid of dia because that's kind of useless at this point anyways and of course, a scholar who's pretty much the same. The only difference is they switched up um, Santa outfits now instead of um, chameleon robes. Well, I still think, Rex, I know we talked about this on Skype a while ago, that um, you still should have gone with the ice shield and the um, defense armor combo, as well as uh, giving one of these archers the glacier gun. That way, you can do lightning and ice as well as water absorb. But I guess you want to try something different first, not to make it too painfully obvious. So while this fair and all, but I just think it will, it will work out a little bit better for you, in my opinion. Um, meanwhile, Reno's team, first the Scholar, A1 the Scholar, Prime the Geomancer, and Alpha the Geomancer. This is basically a team that spams lore. Uh, this is a Earth, Water, and Lightning Absorb team. That uh, Reno has, and it's very well distributed. Um, absorb MP, so that way the scholars can keep hitting lore. The geomancers can also contribute with lore, but they're mainly for um, um, for using geomancy. Uh, magic attack ups got to go, definitely going to support the uh, elemental damage. Though it may not hit for a lot. It might hit for make, maybe a little north of 100, but that's really it. 180 gems may actually actually boost it up a little bit further than I'm thinking. Um, I guess it all depends how this plays out. They both have the uh, projectile guard, which means um, these two archers are gonna have a very hard time taking down both geomancers. So it should be very interesting to see how this plays out uh, between both squads. Rex's team also has lore, but not as much as Reno does. Rex is more about the uh, constant. Um, uh, magic gunshots right here and the magic attack up black magic summon magic So with that said we're gonna be going to map 52, which is the chapel of st. Moran temple This is where you fight zombified Zalbag for those that that have uh, forgotten Should be still be a very interesting match. We have um, Rex in the black and Reno in the blue Weapon break hits right off the bat, and head break misses. That's due to that's due to um, projectile guard. Let's see. Both GMs is gonna try to target down that archer. That's gonna trigger speed save. Let's see quake, and then earth dragon takes out one of the archers, and holy goes off. I know Rex has been very paranoid about Holy. Quite paranoid. But still, things are kind of even, I want to say. Oh, too bad that wasn't the counter magic, though. But then again, the GMAs have Mithril Shield, so... It's not like the Skull can uh, hurt them or anything. Bile then is going to try to absorb MP. Raze goes off. And that Scholar goes down. Now it's 3 on 1 still. 
I don't think that Archer's gonna be able to take this by himself. Yeah, pretty much one more shot and he's dead. And there you go, Reno takes round one. We'll see what happens in round two. Round two is now set as we are in map A7, Barrios Valley. Rex's team kind of got overwhelmed on a very small map considering his units were picked off very, very quickly by the, um, by the Quake Spam and Geomancers. Now the Scholars, gonna be, the scholars and the Priest should be preparing lore, although... All oh, right. Rex's, um, lore can, can heal, um, Reno's. That's why they're not attacking right now. And that Scholar stupidly walks into range. And she gets killed as a result. Now Archer also died. Yeah, things are not looking good for Rex at the moment. Oh man, this is going to end in about a minute. Well, within a minute, I should say. No, just past the one minute mark as far as match two goes. Yeah, that's it. GG.